Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoyed this content. Subscribe to my channel and definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below. Um, today's video is just a fun video. This is not a tutorial. This is just a fun video. I always see um, the Kiss Press On Nails, so I wanted to try them out and see how they would work for me because I have a little bit of a wider nail bed. So I just wanted to see how they would work. So again, this is not a tutorial. This is just like a fun video. So this is the set that I got. I'll leave the number of the set in the description box down below. And this is everything that comes in the kit. You get the nail tips, you get 28 of those. 28 of the nails, you get the adhesive tabs, you get a, a small file, and you get a cuticle, cuticle pusher. You also get some glue. So inside of the nail tips, they do have the sizing in there, and you would just match that up with the adhesive tabs. So I'm just going through and picking my sizes. Um, right off the bat, none of these really fit sidewall to sidewall. They fit my cuticle area, but not sidewall to sidewall. So I was just going through to pick the ones that fit the best sidewall to sidewall, um, the most coverage. If I were to take a big tip for sidewall to sidewall, it would be way too huge for my cuticle area. I did try and file the gold glitter ones down um, in the cuticle area, but those just didn't fit any of my nails to sidewall, sidewall to sidewall. So I have pretty big nail beds. On my thumb, I always use a zero. Sometimes, once in a great while, zeros don't fit, but most of the time I get a zero. And then my thumb, I mean my pinky could be like anywhere between a six or a five. So I don't have small nail beds at all, but I don't think they're big. Like when I look at my nails, I don't think I have big nail beds. I don't know. But um, <laughs> so on some of them, I did kind of shape up the cuticle area just a little bit um just to get a better fit at the cuticle area so what i'm going to do is on one hand i'm going to use the adhesive tabs that came in the kit and then on the other hand i'm going to use the glue so i did prep my nails like i would normally prep my nails it didn't say to not do that but i did use the dehydrator and the primer from um kia kira skies kit and that was step one and two, um, the prep and the prime. Their prep is their dehydrator, their prime is their primer. So I did do that and I pulled off the tabs and just tried to get them to stick to my entire nail bed um, and then just pull off the other part of the tab. Like one side is, um, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, I don't know the proper term. But anyways, one side, when you pull it off the sheet, um, you put the sticky side on your nail and then pull off the little um, protectant coverage once it's on your nail. And then you just put the nail on and hold it for a few seconds and that's it. The tips were really easy to apply. Um, I just didn't have sidewall to sidewall coverage. It could have been the shape of the nails because they were kind of like a... A coffin shape and this set was their quote-unquote long length so um, yeah I never had sidewall to sidewall coverage on any of the nails
So on this hand, I'm going to apply the tips with the glue. And so the instruction says to put some glue on your nail and then to put it in the tip, like where the cuticle area is. Um, on a couple of nails, I put a little bit too much glue, but I've actually never applied press-ons before. So I didn't know how much glue I needed. Um, but yeah, I, the glue getting on the skin is not the hugest thing because you could actually get that off really quickly. Um, with just some cuticle oils or just wash your hands really good with soap and water and you, it just kind of peels off. So I wasn't too, too concerned about getting the glue on my skin. Um, more concerned with getting like gel products or um, keep, keeping the acrylic off your skin. I'm pretty sure it's not good for your skin either, but um, I wasn't worried about having like an allergic reaction or anything like that. But I think on a couple of them, I put the right amount, but I think on like three out of three of them, I put way too much glue. So again, these are easy to apply. Um, it was pretty quick on the application with the tabs and the application with the glue had no problem at all, especially after I went in and filed um, the cuticle area on some of the nails. And I could have filed a little bit more on some of the nails, but again, this is something that's just for fun. I'm um, not anticipating keeping these on longer than a couple of days. I just wanted to see um, would these work for me because I have wider nail beds and because I'm always seeing um, cute sets when I go to Target or I do see people online with cute... Um, press on nails that they did get from KISS. So I just wanted to try them out and see. Okay, so that's how the nails looked when I was done. Um, I don't really, personally, I don't like matte nails. So I am gonna go and buff out the surface because I wanna add um, a gel top coat to it because again, I don't want these matte. And then I did file them down. The length felt kind of too long on the ones with the tabs. It like didn't feel secure like these are too long and they're not um anchored down well so i did want to take off some of that length on that the left hand with the tabs and then i might as well take down the length on the right hand as well so the hands can match so that is what i did and after i buffed them i should have washed my hands because just dusting the dust off with the brush it kind of got stuck in the plastic of the tips, but um, they were easy to file, easy to buff, like no complaints there. I don't really have anything negative to say about these tips. Like if they were um, a better fit, then I definitely probably would have really, really loved these. And then um, I probably would just use the glue the next time. If I were to do it again, I would probably just use the glue instead of the adhesive tabs. Like those things just didn't feel secure at all. It felt kind of weird actually the way, um, I don't know. I can't really describe the way it felt, but it just felt really weird.
Okay, so the top coat I am using is Gloss It by Not Polish. And I'm going in with um, one of those chrome sticks. This one is by Born Pretty and that is in color five. I have a discount code in my description box for Born Pretty and Not Polish. So you can check that out below. And essentially this works just the same way as your um, regular chrome powder. You just put your top coat on, cure that for 15 to 20 seconds. Put on your chrome powder i finished that initial cure so i put the put that nail back in the lamp for 40 seconds or 45 seconds depending on how long the cure was before i applied the chrome and then i top coat it again and then cure that for 60 seconds on the other hand i wanted to try um one of my other chrome powder what are these called these are air cushion pins or chrome powder pins i wanted to try another one and since i really wasn't going to keep these these on i wanted to try to see i wanted to try the brand vinalisa and the one i use from vinalisa that color is tr06 and i did feature these in a haul video which i will link in the cards above and yeah i had no intention of really keeping these on too too long so I was just playing with some of my other products just to see how they work. So this really isn't technically like nail art or like an intended design. I just wanted to try out a product. And this is the one by Vinalisa and that color again is TR06. And I did get that off AliExpress. Like I said, I will link that haul video in the cards above. So both hands I just did um, the top coat. I just left the pinky alone. This is how it came out. I added some cuticle oil, which you can get on my store, link down below. And yeah, this is how they turned out. Okay guys, I have already lost a nail. It's only been about 20 minutes. I just applied my cuticle oil um, and I washed my hands. And this is the side with the adhesive tab so I have already lost a nail so I'm gonna see how many I have tomorrow um, I said I was only gonna keep these on until I lost the first nail and it's been 20 minutes so um, we'll see what happens tomorrow okay guys okay guys it is Sunday around 10 a.m. So I initially did this set sun Saturday, I want to say around five, um, but essentially this set has only been on for, let's just say good 15 hours. It hasn't been 24 hours. So yeah, 15, 16 hours. And I am down to one nail left on my left hand. So this is the hand I did with the tabs, um, the adhesive tabs. I didn't think they would last long anyway, just because of the amount of lotion and cuticle oil I have to use to even get my nails, my skin to be halfway um, moisturized. Um, the hand sanitizer is really killing my my hands. So um, yeah. Even with my normal regimen of twice a day cuticle oil and then layering it over my lotion to seal in the moisture. Um, that's my normal regimen on a day to day, but um, I gotta switch something up just because the hand sanitizer is killing my nails. I might just stop using hand sanitizer um, and just find a way to wash my hands with soap and water when I'm out. Um, Cause yeah, my skin, it, it's just crazy what it's doing to my skin. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this whole set. Um, yeah, cause I do have videos to record and I don't wanna record like this. Or just one nail on this hand. This other hand, nothing's, oh getting the camera nothing's going on um this was just for fun this wasn't like I'm really wearing press-ons I knew initially um I wasn't gonna last very long with these but 
I don't know, I think I'll just take them off and the ones I did with glue, I may or may not soak them off, but I really don't feel like soaking anything off just because my skin is already extremely dry right now. Um, so I don't wanna soak my skin, my nails in acetone. So I might just cut them down and file them off or maybe just apply some cuticle oil around the corners and see if they pop off. Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I will be back with an update. Okay, guys, so what I ended up doing was cutting the length down on the hand that I applied with glue and just filing those off. Like I said, my skin has been so dry on my hands, um, especially around my nail area, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm trying to stay away from that hand sanitizer. So I can get back to my daily regimen, which kept my skin very moisturized. So anyways, guys, this was just a fun video. Just wanted to see how these tips would look on my nails because I have wider nail beds. They didn't really fit my nails, um, but that's doesn't mean it wasn't a good product. It's just not a good product for me. And then also, um, if you are using these, you don't have wide nail beds like mine. If you are using these, I would suggest using the glue over the tabs. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick little fun video. Um, definitely make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Check out some of my other content. Definitely give this video a thumbs up whether you liked it or not. And definitely leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon for another video.